Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. You ever have one of those days where like, maybe you should just stay in bed? Today, uh, today fit into that category. So it's about 20 after 5. I think you guys could see that, I'm not sure. It is 425, April 25th. Saturday, about 60 degrees on this one, 58. 57, so this is about an hour off, well, an hour and 10 minutes off. And my energizer, she's not quite charged. So, got up early and I wanted to get outside and get moving. Um, but I figured I would change the water filters in the house. Um, I showed some of you I, some of you guys have seen my water system here. Like everything else at the Horde, I seem to have to put a little twist on it. So let me show you what I got. And you'll see, well, actually, let me tell you what I got, and I'll, then I'll show you. <clears throat> when I put this system together initially, it had two of these. I think at some point General Electric bought these guys. I don't know if you could read it. But um, these were made in the United States. Well, and I this was manufactured. I don't know if you could see the day code here. It's like 2001. Anyway, the problem with them is this O-ring kind of expanded over time. So as you go to screw it in, it gets caught on the threads, and it never makes it down to this area down here where my thumb is that it's supposed to seal. There's a slight taper on this thing, so as it pulls in, it's supposed to seal. But the problem is, once again, the O-ring's no good. So I drove around looking for an O-ring, and of course you can't find an O-ring. So now the next thing is you got to replace the filtration system. The only thing they had was made in China, which is a pain in the ass. I would have preferred something from the United States. I'm a little nervous about buying filtration systems and filters from China. Um, the reason being is if you were from China and you wanted to screw with Americans, what easier way to mess with them than screw with their filtered water, right? Just put a little... I don't know, radiation source or whatever into it, or or a little poison, or perhaps the glue isn't quite kosher. So, anyway, given that I couldn't find the O-ring, I had to replace the whole canister, and that's it there. The way my water system works is, right, comes in from the well, goes through sediment filters, right, one, and then a second sediment filter. This just goes outside for the uh, garden, garden or whatever, right? So two sediment filters. This is a charcoal filter, charcoal filter, right? Then the pipes come back together again and go upstairs. So how to replace this one? This is the one that I couldn't, couldn't get to screw back in and seal up so that means you got to take this whole thing apart right and then uh, screw it on here obviously with this off you screw the top on and then you got a shark bite over there the old shark bite would not I, I took it off the end of the pipe you just push against the end and these will come off but when I put it back on it wouldn't seal so I had to replace the shark bike Luckily enough, I was smart enough to um, to um, uh, buy a spare shark bite there. Um, these white ones here, they're a little different. They're Whirlpool. You can see this one has a slight weep. Right, I got a bucket under it. So, I guess basically what I need to do is completely replace this whole thing. The only thing is I really, really don't want to install four 
Chinese filtration systems. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do some research. Um, right now it's functional. It's not leaking badly. Um, I mean, it's just barely weeping that one. So it'll get me through until until I buy... Uh, probably what I should do is just buy four new ones, American-made. Maybe they have them online. Maybe they have them at a plumbing supply house. Um, by the time I figured this all out and, you know, found myself uh, sinking in uh, the dark waters of, uh, shoot, I'm screwed, of course, the plumbing supply houses around me were closed, right? It's Saturday, and they don't stay open all day. Typically, they close around noon. So, anyway, that's how I wasted my day. Um, tomorrow is what I'm going to call the first real flea market of the season and there are certain preparations one has to do for that the first preparation is change right looks like a big bankroll what is it <laughs> mostly singles fives and tens right you need a lot of change if you're trying to get a deal on stuff and you walk up to the guy and ask for change of a hundred you ain't getting no deal okay you got to go in small builds, fives, tens, occasional 20. So if you're buying something, you could give exact change. Especially, once again, if you're trying to get a deal. If you're buying something for $300, obviously, then you can give the guy 100 But if you're buying something for $12 or the guy asks $20, it's worth 15 to you, you got to have $15. You can't just hand him a 20 and ask for change because that makes him cranky. You want it? If you're going to get a deal on something, exact change always helps. You can see also, you can see the floor on my truck. Right. Made a bunch of space. Very important. If you're going to buy stuff, you got to be able to haul it about. Um, lastly, I have a mobile set of wheels I bring with me. It's actually a former Ryobi toolbox, rolling toolbox. Um, it used to have a um, chop saw on top of it and everything else sitting right here. Um, so, this has to go in the back of my truck. No use bringing it if the wheels aren't going to stay on. Take a quick look at that. Quick look at that. That all looks good. Looks real happy. So, bring this over to the truck, put it in. Um, the F 150s going to the flea market tomorrow. Um, not the new one. Why? This particular flea market. Um, how can I say this nicely? There are a lot of jerks. <laughs> I guess that's not nicely. But, um, and they have a tendency to slam doors into your car and all. And I'm trying to get my first scratches slowly on the, uh, on the new truck. Right? I just assume not make a wreck of it. Very first thing. Oh. Where am I? About eight minutes. I guess this is going to be a short video. Um, yeah, I got to tell you, I must have been pushing it today or something because my hip is killing me too. I'm having a lot of trouble walking. And I got flea markets to go to, so it's going to be hard to uh, to get around. That flea market tomorrow is probably a couple of miles worth of walking anyway. Some of it with weight if I buy things, so... Uh, yeah, it hurts. All right, folks, I want to thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and remember to enjoy all your days, even if you end up getting sprayed in the face with water while you're trying to do a simple filter change that's only supposed to take five minutes. You know, keep your sense of humor and uh, keep your chin up. Once again, folks, Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and please enjoy all your days. Bye now.